Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Shield as we continue our hunt for the Reggies, as well as probably a nice Tior that we can use. Ice Beam. I see a nice Ice Beam. Um, and to access this one, this is the whole reason why we push ourselves through uh, the the pain of of catching. First of all, you can just get out of here, Uncle. <laughs> Unc Uncle. <laughs> this is Dummy. His name is Dummy. Um, this is like the whole reason we went through the trouble of catching this thing is just so that uh, is just so we could access this. Because what you need is you need to have Cryogonal in your party, and then it opens the door again. It's like throw back to the whole Waylord thing, you know, the Waylord Relicanth Braille thing. You have to admit that was quite cool at the time. Okay, dummy. Get that thing back where it came from, or so help me, so help me. We're pretty much going to try the same strategy with this one. Like Roxette, we should probably heal. I, I did I did toy with the off-screen. I was like, what if I just use the quick ball, and that catches it? I, I think I'm just like grasping at straws because I was like I don't want to go <laughs> I don't want to go through the pain <laughs> like I did with um the same pain I did with Reggie Steel with Reggie Eyes. Yeah, so it's the same with this one. We just like light up the light uh light it up like dynamite for Reggie Eyes. The um ja Jackie Are they all just going to be like Jackie Chan adventures or something? <laughs> like Jackie? <laughs> oh my god. I'm just, I'm gonna go for it. It's like whatever, we're going balls deep on Reggie Ice. Here's that, there's an image you probably didn't want. <sighs> yeah, well, what did I expect? Thank you. Okay, and now it's time for you to like, uh, to luck out on a 10% chance of not getting hit by Thunder Wave. Was Thunder Wave always 90% accuracy? I have a feeling like Thunder Wave used to be 100%, which is why it's such a bitch move. I mean, it's still a bitch move compared to things like, um... Compared to things like Stun Spore or whatever, but, like, nowhere near what, um... Nowhere near, like, like, um... Well, no, how, how was I planning to finish that sentence? Let's just start again. It's just a bitch-ass move. It's even at 90% accuracy. Because paralysis is probably one of the most irritating things, because it's like, per it just sticks with you. So, we'll try the X-Scissor this time. I'm like, I've, again, I feel like Reggie Ice has no attacks that he can hit us with. I think that, like, literally, it knows, like, Zap Cannon, Ice Beam... Something. Probably. <laughs> if it had something it could hit us with, it would be using it, so... I don't think- again, I don't think we really have to worry. Which is a good thing. Like, imagine how much longer it would have taken to- to defeat- to- to- to capture Reggie- Reggie Steel. If we'd also have to worry about healing ourselves. Better ourselves! We're on a- we, we're on a split shift. We work. We go to school half the day, and then we split, or whatever they say. Is he on red health? I'm gonna. I'm gonna try the. I'm afraid to do the shadow sneak. Sorry, but like, there's that dungeon man music again. Thank you, Red Eyes. Go back into the box. Have a talk with Reggie Steel. Get him to learn the error of his ways, please. It's funny, because I remember- I, 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 like, I vividly remember capturing these Pokémon in He's Cold as Ice and Willing to Sacrifice. Um, yeah, so he, he's- he's-, he's <laughs> I, I suppose he would be- have to be- have to be Uncle, wouldn't he? Are they all just going to be variations on the word uncle? Maybe he's Jackie... 
Jackie, more soup. The reason I say like Jackie more soup is because like th there's like some episode of Jackie Chan Adventures which uh, <laughs> Jackie um sent to a box. There's some episode of Jackie Chan Adventures where um where Uncle is sick or something. Beep 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 boop boop beep. Um yeah it's peony. Yeah, the ice giant, red ice. Crack on with those other giants. Keep up the good work. You can never have enough big white belts. Remember that. There's some episode where Uncle is sick, and it's kind of like that, that one trope episode where that that you that there seems to be like an episode like it of every TV show, where um, oh, there's like an, uh, a Pokeball here, a Trout Spray. I need that for when I when I do that the big white belts dad voice. Um, the and it's that one like trope episode where like one of the characters is sick, so then it's like, oh, I'll look after you because you deserve it. But then they start like taking advantage of it and taking it too far. Kind of like that one episode of SpongeBob where Squidward is unemployed. It's like, how would they like to be unemployed? Heat wave. This is my island in the sun. I, I, I. It's like my the 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 in, enduring memory of. Uh, well, no, it's not the enduring memory. That implies that I don't remember anything else of it. I don't feel like I've seen this view ever before in my life, or bothered to enjoy it. More is the more is the point. The um. That's just a vivid memory of Muppet Christmas Carol, a film I've literally seen probably about 15 times, if not more. But that was my favorite part as a child, was like, Heat Wave, this is my island in the sun, I, I. Well, actually, I liked it when Scrooge, like when Michael Caine just shouts unemployed. Obviously, I took joy in that. I was just like, ha ha ha, unemployment, ha. How would they like, it, it's like, how would they like to be unemployed? It's like, oh, that's how it works. You just threaten them, okay? <laughs> you just threaten them with, like, with destitution. Yeah, see, the other one is, like, down here, I think, is it? It's, like, in here, isn't it? There's Roxette. Roxette, like, paralysis has just been, like, paralysis has been, like, a great, uh, great help in general. Um, the, the, um, what was I even talking about? Throat spray? Big white belt stat? Oh yeah, Jackie, Jackie Chan, Uncle's sick, right? And like, obviously Uncle starts like, taking advantage of, well, actually, he's kind of like an asshole to Jackie a lot of the time anyway, isn't he? It's like, Jackie's a grown man, Uncle. Cut him some slack. I, I, I feel like I'm going the wrong way, like... Town map. Yeah, like I think. Like I think actually I should be. Like, is it here though? So that's where. No, it's not there. I feel like it. It is actually here somewhere. So let's just go back. Because it's not in there, that's like the way to a really cool looking area we haven't even been yet. Oh yeah, Eldegoss. Um, the, um... So, so like, obviously he wants like chicken soup or something I think, because he's sick. And he's just like, Jackie, I need more soup! More soup! Or something. Probably not exactly like that, but that's the exaggerated version of it, that 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 I enjoy. So yeah, that's why I cannot say Jackie without thinking more soup. Aww, I actually wouldn't mind having one of them. <laughs> but oh well, we're on a we're on a master quest. I want the whole world to see. I'm gonna be the very best, because all I've got to do is believe in me. I don't believe in Beatles, I just believe in me. Um, so yeah, for this one, they'll, they'll give you a clue as well. Hold the never-changing stone, the never-ending nightmare. No, we need to have... 
The Pokemon in front hold an Everstone. Hold an Ever Dread. There's lots of Earthbound talk going on in this episode. I don't know why, like, I haven't even been thinking about it. Re Actually, no, I was. Like, yesterday in the bath. <laughs> now that I think of it, I was thinking about Earthbound yesterday. Why was I thinking about Earthbound in the bath yesterday? I thought about some... I thought about, like... Earth people like saying Earthbound is the greatest RPG, one of the greatest RPGs of all time. And then in my mind, I was having like an argument with my. Like, this is just typical. It's like I have these conversations in my mind. Like, imagine what that conversation would sound like. It's like, at least I'm safe inside my mind. At least I'm safe inside my mind. Um. The, uh. So I was having this like internal dialogue with myself where like I was arguing on about whether 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 Earthbound actually is one of the greatest RPGs of all time or whether it's just one of the most unique RPGs of all time. That's actually an argument you could like lose friends over, I think. Like I'm not like I to be honest, I I, I don't have strong opinions about that, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of the game. And and then you could like argue, okay, but maybe the fact that it, like, I don't think you can argue against it being one of the most unique RPGs of all time, you know, you cannot argue against that one, that's indefensible. But the, or not indefensible, that's, it's, it's perfectly indefensible. Um, that, that's like undeniable is the word I was looking for. Um, but you could argue that its very uniqueness like, d d lends itself to being one of the greatest RPGs of all time, you know? So, like, do they have necessarily have to be two mutually exclusive qualities? Can it be both one of the greatest RPGs of all time as well as one of the great one of the most unique RPGs of all time? I'm trying to think like is the slab or empire better here? I think technically probably the slab because if he's using hammer arm at least it just won't do anything and if he's using or superpower for that matter and if he uses a rock type attack it'll just not be very effective. Body pr I'm afraid to use body press. I'm gonna try it. What's the worst that could happen? What could possibly go wrong? Okay, that was actually not bad. I could probably afford to use that another time. But I'm not going to. I'm like so scared. I just <laughs> I just want to, to, to have caught the Reggies to make Big White Belt's dad proud of me. The um... So yeah, I don't know where I'd fall on that one at the end. At the end of the day, and then you see, having that kind of starting that conversation causes you to start a whole load of other conversations in terms of okay, if you are, if you're like wavering on whether Earthbound is one of the greatest RPGs of all time, then you have to think what do you compare it to. So what are some? What is the other pantheon? of greatest RPGs of all time. Joan, you know I'm gonna give you a chance to get in a Premier Ball, Reggie Rock. Um, I didn't even pay attention to what he said. Um, the, the, um, the, um, so, so you have to, like, ask yourself what you compare it to. Like, can you even compare it to is he seriously caught in this thing? Yeah, there we go, Reggie Rock. Like you, like Reggie Steel is obviously the, the the black sheep of the family, being making my life so difficult. Like, can you even compare? And that that's the thing. Like, then the other factor of Earthbound being so unique causes it to, like, can you really compare it to something else? You know, can you can you compare Earthbound to? Final Fantasy 12. Reggie Rock is Jade, by the way. <laughs> Imagine this little girl. It's like, my name's Toph, because it sounds like Toph. <laughs> That's the end of it. Well, no, it's not the end of it. Beep, 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 boop. Beep, 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 boop. 
Come again? You met the rock giant Reggie Rock? Ha! That's my boy. Now, time to keep looking. I feel like I feel like my dad con contacts me too much on the phone. Um, the the um. Oh, by the way, now we're going to go to the to the next amazing area um, that I haven't shown you yet, but it is beautiful. Like you will you will find it breathtaking. It'll take your breath away. Bum bum bum. Bum bum. There's like, there's like this random ad for I think Carlsberg, cause like strange things happen high in the Rockies or whatever, and it's, and and like they, there's like this sea. I'm not sure whether they have them in the in the states. I there was no way I was getting out of that one. Um, like I'm not sure whether they have like these ads in the states, but there's a series of ads on television for Carlsberg, which. Is it Carlsberg? No, it's Coors. Coors is Coors Light. That's what it is, because strange things happen high in the Rockies. Carlsberg is like, Carlsberg don't do insert thing here, but if they did, it would probably be the best insert thing here in the world. There's Kabuto, one of my one true loves. One of these days I should just do- I was thinking of that recently, actually. I was like, is, it po is there any game where it's like feasible to do like a fossil- Pokemon run or something like that because I would be so up for that Put my money where my mouth is with the fossil Pokemon being being so amazing the um But yeah, there's these series of like Coors Light ads with Jean-Claude Van Damme in them and Like one of them is like Jean-Claude Van Damme ta taking ta talk like say telling this random story about how hard his nipples got because it was so cold and he was rescued by sweaty bears. Like, that's literally, like, I am not even exaggerating. Hey, Lucario. Um, I'm not even exaggerating. Those are literally the words, like, his nipples got so hard, he was rescued by big sweaty bears. Like, that, like you have to look this up. If you do not believe me, look it up, I swear. There's this other ad, though, where it's like Jean-Claude Van Damme lying down in the snow while Take Your Breath Away plays in as the background music. It's like, boom, boom, dum, boom, boom. It's, it's just like, like, it's marketing genius because it's like so off the wall that you don't know whether to like find it disturbing or enjoyable. I wish the weather was nicer for showing you this beautiful place. Like, look at this. This place is like so amazingly beautiful and then the weather just has to go and ruin it. But, coming in here, we have like this lovely like area with all these ice flows and icebergs. And, and you'll see in a second what's kind of cool about this place as well, but... Um, coming in here, we have that lady over there who we will want to talk to. Wishing well, kiss and tell. Hello there. Over and under, over and under, Galarica twigs. Until we've crafted nature's crown, a wreath of twigs is what we've wound. I don't think I have 15 Galarica twigs. That's a lot, like, you know. Um, oh, there they are. I have eight of them? Okay. I wouldn't mind, like, getting, getting, um, getting seven more to be able to show that off. Tior 92 Dazzling Gleam is really nice, to be perfectly honest, but... Um, so yeah, there's like this random Jean-Claude Van Damme ads for Coors Light. It's like if Jean-Claude Van Damme is like the strange thing that happens high in the Rockies, like, keep me away from there. But yeah, we have this like really nice area here, which like, where you have like the ice cube and the Avalog just floating around in the water like icebergs. It's so cool, like they're everywhere, and Whalmer. Like, when I first saw this area, and again... <gasps> Ooh, Altaria! I'm actually gonna do this, but we'll do it in the next video. You know what to expect, everybody. I'll gush more about how when I first saw this area, I was like, I love this. And we'll also fight Altaria and see what we can do. So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time. Bye now.